Alberta sits over one of the largest recoverable oil patches in the world, second only to Saudi Arabia, covering 149,000 square kilometers, an area larger than England. It holds at least 175 billion barrels of crude bitumen found beneath boreal forest, muskeg, and rivers. To access the sandy tar-like substance, the land referred to by the industry as overburden is removed and saved for future reclamations. Cranes and 400-ton trucks haul the bitumen off to extraction plants where, in order to separate the sand from the bitumen, it is mixed with large amounts of fresh water heated by natural gas. It is then spun with a chemical solvent to further remove clay and minerals, leaving the remaining wastewater to be dumped into enormous toxic tailings ponds. The siphoned off bitumen is then sent into pipelines to be processed into crude oils throughout North America. As our need for oil become greater than our need for water, fresh water has already become a scarce resource. We think of it as being infinite, but of the world's total water supply, only half of 1% is accessible fresh water. The oil sands mining operations use up to four barrels of fresh water to produce one barrel of oil. This water comes from the Athabasca River system, which is fed from glaciers at the base of the Rocky Mountains. Not only does the industry suck up large quantities of fresh water, but it will soon produce more carbon emissions than all of Canada's passenger cars combined. The oil produced by industry contributes to a cycle of consumption that accelerates climate change, further destroying the very glaciers that feed this delicate cycle. Oil sands production is developing at breakneck speed. This pace is driven by corporate interests aimed at integrating North America's economies and resources. The North American Free Trade Agreement's proportionality clause ensures that an average percentage of energy resources continue to flow south. This guarantees an increasing export of a finite resource. The oil sands are quickly becoming the largest industrialized project in human history. With a proposed five-fold increase in production, oil sands networks will soon span the continent. A new agreement called the Security and Prosperity Partnership further expands NAFTA, ensuring energy security for the United States, but not for Canada. Canada remains one of the only industrialized countries that has not saved any energy for itself. These resource agreements can also apply to water. <laughs> 